Hi, and welcome to Mom's Den. My name is Ivona, and today I'm helping you impress your Mythic Plus Rating PvP or Tor Gas group. Do more damage and overall be more prepared for any kind of high-end content in Shadowlands. For new players, a lot of this may seem like unnecessary and a bit much, but I assure you that we live in an age where pretty much everyone is aware of these things and has them on hand. And if you don't happen to do so, someone will notice, and if that someone is your group leader, it may cost you the spot. It's sad, it's cruel, it stinks, but that's just the way it is. If you want to do better in Shadowlands as a dungeon or a raid group member, there are certain things you can do to not only do decent healing, tanking or damage, but also to impress people around you with just how much you value your spent time together. Speaking of time, it is now the right moment to remind you that subscribing to my channel and spending a bit of time watching all those super simple guides will really help you improve your gameplay, discover cool secrets, get rid items for your collection with little to no effort and overall win more in WoW. So press that red button and let's get right into it. Let's start with the most obvious thing, which is gear. Of course, many of the items are not obtainable through the auction house, but there are also some items you can purchase if you've got a bit of gold that can really boost your item level. For example, there are these super cool trinkets you can buy and they're called Dark Moon Deck Indomitable for tanks, Dark Moon Deck Putrescence and Dark Moon Deck Veracity for the DPS, and Dark Moon Deck Repose for the healers, which are currently item level 200 and can easily be one of your highest item level pieces of gear if you're just beginning to do more high-end content. Also, when it comes to the base gear, you want to make sure you've upgraded it with both enchants and gems. They're both really cheap at the auction house and all you need to find out is which stats are important for your character, both primary and secondary. For example, as a ranged DPS and a caster, I try to go for as much intellect and haste as I can get my hands on, and if you made a warlock like me, you may be in the same spot, so do your homework and check that out. You can get enchants for almost every item slot in the game, so you can just go to the auction house and search for all the gear slot enhancements. Just be aware of all the ones that require a certain low level of gear to be used, and don't buy them since you won't be able to use them. Another gear upgrade is the chest patch, which will help you stay alive regardless of your class and specs, so it may be a good idea to have that on hand as well. When it comes to enhancing your weapon, there are a couple of things you can get. The first one is oil, the Bambler's oil for healing and shadow core for dealing damage that you simply consume while in a dungeon or raid. They last for one hour and really help with your performance. There are also potions that go super well in combination with your oil and those last 25 seconds. They're used during boss fights and heavy trash mobs since they boost your stats quite a bit. They can be a bit costly though, but if you know you're going to be in need of those final push utilities, it's a good idea to have a few of them in stock. If you're one of the classes that uses blades, there is another kind of potion that also lasts 25 seconds and they're simply the stat increasing potions like Potion of Spectral Agility, Intellect, Stamina or Strength. So you know, take your pick. If you're one of the classes that uses blades, it's also a good idea to mention sharpening stones, which increase your attack power for one hour, and that's also great to have in stock. Next up, we've got the health and mana potions, and I'd say that if you're using mana to cast spells, you do not want to show up unprepared since the whole group will have to wait for your mana to refill, and that can take a really long time. Rest assured that they'll most likely take the chance of trying to find another raid healer if you don't have your mana potions and no one else has any extra, so get ready for that. Another one of the super important consumables is your flasks, and in Shadowlands there are two of them, the Spectral Flask of Power for damage dealers and healers, and the Spectral Flask of Stamina for tanks. These little bad boys last one hour, but there's a cool trick you can do to prolong them. Before going to the raid or the dungeon, drop by the profession trainer and drop one of your gathering professions if you have it. Instead, learn alchemy, because alchemists have prolonged use of flasks, making them last two hours and essentially saving a lot of money in the process since flasks can cost quite a lot if you use them all the time, so make sure you do that. 
When it comes to food, this is also something you want to consider since it can buff your stats for a whole hour, but it doesn't persist through death, so if you happen to be wiping a lot, you consequently need to eat a lot. In Shadowlands, you've got the large meals that buff one of your stats for 30 and the smaller ones that do for 18, and you can probably guess which ones I'm recommending. If you don't want to spend gold on food, you can always level up cooking yourself and make your own meals, as well as be able to set up a feast for your party which is always a good thing when you're collecting bonus points in your group all right now that we've talked about all the ways you can spend your gold here's something that's free your add-ons especially weak auras and big wigs which are invaluable in an instance environment on my channel i also do weak auras guides for different specs so if you're having trouble setting them up yourself there's another reason to press that sub button and stay up to date with them of course there are plenty of other useful add-ons like deadly boss modes and gtfo so check what's really important for you and make sure to get those if you're a tank healer or a raid leader you're also going to need some specific ones so i suggest you do your homework and and be raid ready. And finally, the most valuable thing you can bring into your group is knowledge. Take the time to watch boss guides, dungeon strategies, and ways to improve your gameplay. As I previously mentioned, I do all of that on my channel, but many other awesome content creators will do. Just find someone who you're comfortable with and start learning all those boss tricks. There's always going to be someone who hasn't done it in your group, so try not to be that one person while also being able to offer a helping hand. That's pretty much it when it comes to properly preparing for dungeons, raids, and high Torghast layers. Not all of this is always needed, but you want to be aware of most of these things and make sure you properly equip yourself. Trust me, without a doubt, other people who care about their performance will do it, and it's better to be on that side of the mirror. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, smash that like button and leave some of your own tips in the comments. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Good luck, and bye-bye.